Now Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Well, the calendar says August, but boy, it felt like October out there today, didn't it? With the clouds and the cool and comfortable temperatures. A beautiful day in that regard, but in the mountains, really starting to see thunderstorms popping here uh, at 6 o'clock, and that's got a lot of lightning with it, and that has potential, of course, to start a fire in the higher elevations as well. So let's examine some of these uh, thunderstorms that we have in the mountains. We'll zoom in here to parts of western uh, Siskiyou County and western Trinity County. You see all kinds of activity going on there. And boy, look at this right around Weaverville. Looks like thunderstorms moving on into that area with heavy rain, locally heavy rain, and some gusty winds, and of course, uh, 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 lightning in that area as well. Then we'll go a little further south here and show you the activity south of Weaverville, south of uh, that area into southern Trinity County. Also thunderstorms going on there. That activity seems to be lifting off to the north northeast like that. Also notice towards western uh, Tehama County and now western Glen County. We've got some thunderstorms developing there. We will watch and see if those thunderstorms can make it into the valley here. Although the air being rather dry in the valley, if they do, they shouldn't last very long. But nevertheless, there's a lot of lightning out there. That lightning can and does start forest fires, and that's why we have the red flag warning in effect through Saturday for Modoc County, for Siskiyou County, for Trinity County, all these areas. See the thunderstorms right now. Modoc County will probably get in the thunderstorm game tomorrow, I would think. As far as our temperatures go, that's that's the good news here. Boy, beautiful out there today, wasn't it? High to our current temperatures, lower in middle 80s in the valley, in the mountains, mainly 70s for current temperatures, very nice. For August, and we'll do that again tomorrow. A lot of clouds hanging around, so you probably don't need the sunglasses if you're heading out to the farmer's market. And boy, not going to be super toasty hot at noontime tomorrow, like it usually is out there. 74 degrees at noon, fantastic Saturday weather with regards to the temperatures. And this is the reason why. Low pressure, a little summer storm off the California coastline, giving us the clouds, the showers and thunderstorms, and the cool weather, and all of that continues again tomorrow. So if you like the cool temperatures, that's the good news. If you don't like the lightning, that's the bad news. We'll see that continuing tomorrow as well. If you're going camping in the mountains, boy, you should carry an umbrella or something and plan on getting wet because there's a decent chance of rain in the higher elevations tonight and tomorrow. On the ridge, chance of a little shower or thunderstorm late tomorrow afternoon, not nearly as great as over towards Trinity County, but it's a chance. Slight chance of a shower in the north end of the valley tonight. Tomorrow, a better chance. High temperatures around 80. In the Mid-Valley, mostly cloudy. Should be dry tonight here, but there is a slight chance of a shower tomorrow. High temperatures look wonderful in the low 80s. Finally, your Storm Tracker 7-day forecast with the weekend is always in view. Getting us back to sunshine by Sunday and upper 90s by the middle of next week. Reading's forecast, comfortable with a few showers and maybe a thunderstorm tomorrow. Triple digits by next week. All right, thank you, Chris. Time now for sports and boys and volleyball players, uh, women's volleyball players from Chico got an amazing opportunity to get a feel for what it's like to be on an Olympic volleyball team. Yes, the women's um, national USA team, the assistant coach, she came out to come help coach the Chico High girls and even more girls from 